They've been marinating on what to say to me for years. Better to just get it over with. I'm short on time, so forgive me if I skip the meaningless small talk and speak directly. I've got the talent search I'm organizing and judging. I've got deadlines. I've got bills. I've got social obligations. I wouldn't disturb my peace confronting you if not for Tyler's well-being. Really? Because the hostility you're bringing really feels more personal. Let's give them some credit. They did also humble brag about how booked and busy and important they are. You make people feel special. You guess them up so much they don't realize they've been completely isolated. I'm here to make sure you never rope Tyler into that cycle of torment again. Andale moved to America from South Africa in junior year, just after Jala and Tyler had one of their more dramatic breakups. The entire class ended up taking sides. As the new kid without any idea of the complicated history between them, Andale became a battleground in their romantic rivalry. You started confiding in me about your relationship with Tyler, getting my sympathy, making me believe your version. I thought Tyler was a monster, and I fell for you. Forget the false pretenses of our brief relationship. You stole years of friendship with Tyler from me. That's what I can't forgive. Don't deny we had a spark. You were new, exciting. You didn't have any preconceived notions about me. And the fact that Tyler was the first person to speak to me had no part in it. You only became interested in me because you saw how much Tyler and I had in common. We shared perspectives you could never understand. I don't need resolution from you. I don't think you can actually change. The one thing I do know, your cruelty has no bounds. You struggle against your culture, but I embrace the support mine gives. You are trapped. You are lost. That's why you jump from one relationship to the next. Why you lie, cheat, evade. You're searching for something in other people that you should be looking for in yourself. It is too early in the day to be read for filth like this. Maybe even too early in the year. They could have at least had the decency to get us drunk beforehand. I'm not returning cruelty for cruelty, Jala, even though it would be entirely justified. I pity you. Your ancestors are turning over in their graves. Mine are standing shoulder to shoulder with me, making me stronger. Looks like Andale's so mad at you, they're having a personality crisis. I mean, it's obvious Andale replaced you as Tyler's best friend the moment you left town. But don't you think they're being a little overprotective for just a friend? So, are you and Tyler, like, together? Seriously, Jala? Unlike you, I can care about someone without trying to sleep with them. You'd love it if I lost my cool like everyone else, wouldn't you? I refuse to let you get under my skin. Indeed. What are you complaining about? You got Tyler in the end, and I'm the one left on the outside. Admit it, you still wear some of the clothes I lent you junior year. Uh. 
I'm the model child, a pillar of support for my family, an icon in my industry, helping my community thrive. I'll carry it all without a complaint. Unlike you, Jala. Jealousy is not a good look on you, Andale. Have you never thought of the sacrifice our families made? All their work and hope invested in you? And what did you do? Abandon them. Come on! I have literally come home to face my past. I'd respect you more if you could just admit that you're here for you, not for Tyler. Even just asking you to care about other people is too much for you. Yeah, I was thoughtless in high school. Newsflash, we were all teenagers. Thoughtlessness is practically in the job description. <laughs> When Tyler looks at me, I know she sees me. I'm seen and loved. Of course, you can't stand to see us happy without you. I don't want to make changes to my body. And I know what I'm shaped like what people assume when they look at me. When people say non-binary, they think of someone petite, non-threatening, not me. Sometimes I think, why try so hard to fight the inevitable? Maybe if I conformed, I would be recognized, understood. Other people's ideas of you are just limitations. Come on, part of you enjoys defying expectations, doesn't it? What do you know about what it's like to be perceived in a way that's completely different to how you feel? You know. I used to wonder if the reason you and Tyler could live so audaciously is because you're so American. You come from a culture of the future, always thinking about who you could be, not who you must carry within you. You had the privilege of being anything you wanted without question, and you chose to be the worst. You know, it's so funny how when we met, I was doing really bad, and you were just the queen of everything. But now I'm successful, sexy, and financially covering my parents, while you're crashing at home and everyone hates you. <laughs> so funny, girl. Ha ha, hilarious. I don't know, Andale. I'm getting the distinct feeling you're not as secure as you claim to be. In fact, I'd say this little performance of yours reeks of insecurity. Maybe a few top notes of desperation? You know what? Fine. Maybe my culture can't handle me. Maybe my family won't ever be able to understand me. Forget them. My real family is the friends who never judge me and never pressure me. If my heritage hurts, why bother? Leave it behind. Throw me in that melting pot and put on the lid, baby. Wait, what just happened there? What always happens when kids break from a traditional upbringing? Chaos. Their attack is making them vulnerable too. I can definitely relate. No, really? Indeed. Yeah, you really sound like a cool, collected person who definitely doesn't have strong feelings for me.
Don't you dare pity me. I'm telling you I'm better than you. You hurting me changed me for the better. Yeah, you've changed so much, you've completely spun out. Just look at yourself. I don't think you have any idea who you really are. You're just bouncing from one extreme to the next. Fine, fine. The truth is, I'm a mess. I'm scared of being disconnected. But the idea that my family and community might reject me hurts more. I'm all over the place. I only tell my parents good news. I only tell my friends funny stories. I'm afraid I'm gonna be found out as a fraud in my industry every single day. I'm beyond boundaries, but am I beyond understanding? Will I always feel impossible? I don't wanna compromise who I am. I contain multitudes, feminine and masculine, South African and American. I'm all of these things and yet defined by none of them alone. God, it feels so good to just say that all out loud. I feel stronger. Wait, wait, wait. Did we just accidentally give our opponent a pep talk? My skills were forged by real struggle, not the kind that coddled middle-class kids like you give themselves to be interesting. I meet so many people, none of them see me. All of them see the parts they want. I thought you were someone I could be whole with. What a disappointment. Auntie! Resilient, rooted, and I promise you this, it won't be me who crumbles. I don't recognize you. In fact, I'm not sure if you recognize yourself right now. What I should have recognized is that most 17-year-olds don't have five entire scorched earth breakups behind them. I spent a lot of time not being able to stand being myself. I kept looking for someone else to validate me, but now I know. I'm the only one I'll ever need. You know what, Andale? I'm happy you and Tyler are friends. You've been a better friend to her than I have, hard as that is to admit. I'm sorry that what I did to you two got in the way of that. It was selfish, it was stupid. I know you don't owe me anything, but I really am trying to be better. I hope you can give me a chance to prove that. I have to admit, this conversation has made me realize I have myself a little less figured out than I thought. For now, I'll reserve judgment. Send me a text if you ever want to talk. I mean, you've clearly got my number. 